peekaboo pages. Totally enchanting, aren't they? This is what we're going to be doing today on day 46 of our daily creative practice. Today I'm going to show you how to fold. This is Saturday, so we are folding today. I'm going to show you how to fold this wonderful little peekaboo prize. You can make it in any size. Here's one that fits tidily. Tidily? <laughs> fits pretty neatly into one of our little tag pockets we made this week. Isn't that cute? Here is just one that hasn't been altered in any way yet. And here is one we are going to put in our book today. Love them, love them, love them. So let me get these out of the way and let me talk a little bit about what you want to do for a junk journal or a book if you're going to put this in an altered book. You don't want your paper to be any wider than your actual book page across the whole spread. So mine, I think, is 10 inches across here. Yep, 10 inches exactly. So you want this to be... I cut it just maybe an eighth of an inch less than the 10 inches. I want it to fit snugly inside the book like this without it peeking over the edge. Don't want it showing over the edge. Okay, so this is kind of fun. It's It feels a little more tricky than it is. This one is 10 inches by 10 inches. It has to be square. And I'm just going to show this to you. Let me see which is the best way. Probably with the white side out. So we want to fold it in half carefully. And it's really, really important to burnish this one very well. Totally, totally well. Okay, open it and fold it in half again. and burnish it at every step. You'll thank me for that later. Open it, and then we're going to go point to point. And before you go ahead and do your finger fold, check, whoops, see how far off I am? Good thing I didn't burnish it quite yet. So do your finger fold, check it, must not have cut this perfectly straight, and do it that way, do point to point one more time, and the, it's best to make this out of like text weight paper at best, I think this is probably a 28 pound paper. Uh, you can make it out of a lightweight cardstock, but it gets too clunky and bunky in your fold pages. So it's better just to have a heavyweight text. All right, so cross, 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 cross. And then we're going to turn it square on our table and fold it in half. And then this is, gets tricky. We're going to pick this point up and move it down here. So put your fingers there, pick that point up, and move it down there. Down there. If somebody isn't watching and I'm saying down there, that's kind of the way I give car directions too. Come over here. <laughs> Come this way. Flip it over, pick this corner up, and bring it down to the bottom corner. Sometimes it's easier than others. But the fiddly bits on this one are gonna be right there where there's several folds coming together at once. And mine is definitely a little bit off, so I hope this 
hope it works. Be more careful than I am. All right, so the next step is to bring these this tip into the middle. Oh, and I want to show you this. There should be two of these flaps on each side. If you have three on one side and one on the other, it doesn't work. So just make sure you've got two flaps. And actually, this could be put in a, a card or a book right now, just like it is. But we're going to take it a, a little step further. So come to the middle. Burnish that. Check this edge. This is the edge to check. Okay. And come to the middle. Again, this is the edge to check. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. You see my middle? And this time it's kind of easy because you can line it up with that edge too. Now, this gets a little bit tricky, but once you understand it, and if you burnish this part right well, it'll be fine. So open those two edges, and we're going to move this point into the middle there. So if you burnished well, that should go pretty easily. See how that just kind of folds in there? You're just turning this edge inside from a mountain fold to a valley fold. Okay, hope that makes sense. We're gonna do it four times so you can see that. Turn it over, this edge, fold in to the center there. See how easily that goes if you burnished well. And if you don't have, if you don't have this, an old credit card can work, a spoon can work, a butter knife will work, lots of different things. So I actually call this my little tent fold because at this stage, it looks like a tent and you are finished. Your folds are done. That is what we have made. Whoop, 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 whoop. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so let me come in here and put that in my book and show you how to glue it. And if you're putting it in a junk journal or an altered book, the best thing to do is remove about six or eight pages, depending on how many page, how thick the pages were. And once you've got those pages, let me see if I can find a spot in here. Like this, once you've got those pages like this, decide where you're going to put it and then just cut a notch in these little pages pieces of your page. You don't want those totally out, but it's okay if you just put a notch where the point is going to go. Because for this to work well, that little tip has to be right into the center of your book. So it's, it's just a little fiddly. It's much easier to put it in this book because I don't have those pages to worry about. So let's do some gluing. Let me see which way I want this to go. Before you commit, make sure you've got whatever is on the inside the way you want to open if there is any picture. And since this has shoes going both ways, it's okay. But I'm going to glue this side first. And you can use glue stick or you can use your heavier Fabri-Tac if you want or Fabri-Fix. Fabri-Tac I like to use on stuff that's really bulky and heavy. Make sure you get every single edge of that covered with glue. That's going to be important. Just trust me. Move that out of the way. Come in here. And you don't want it overlapping that center. 
you want it right in the center. And by center, I mean there, the center of your book. And you want to open it up, and very carefully, you want to burnish this down. Don't go too hard, because you can tear this, because the paper's kind of wet with glue, so you can tear your paper right now. So just burnish it, and make sure it is stuck down there well. Then come in, and I am going to put some guard pages in here. I can find them, because I don't want to glue. I don't want glue on my page page. because that causes all kinds of trouble if you get glue on your book page at this point. So just again, put glue everywhere. Edges, definitely. And then all you do is close your book. Close your book. And I'm going to open it to the page before and burnish it down carefully. And then there we go. And one more thing I should have told you before, if you're going to decorate anything on the inside or if you're going to put anything on the inside, it's a whole lot easier to do it before you actually glue it down. Once you glue it, it's a little bit harder to get in there and play with it. So you can see what I did in here. I put a little journaling block there. I put an envelope over here with a little journal card in it. And you can put words, you can put everything. Don't don't put them across the creases. That's a little hairy area. Um, and it would probably wear out eventually. But just as long as you can use any of those spaces that are open to put that in there. So isn't that cool? I think so. I think so. And as long as your paper is square, you can make it any size you want. This was 10. This one for this book was a 12 by 12 square. Um, our little one that was in the in here was a 6 by 6 square of paper. And this, of course, was my very favorite, just an index card that I colored. So, yeah, you can make all kinds of sizes, and it can actually fit in any kind of book that you have out there. So, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're going to have a really good, inspirational, motivational talk tomorrow afternoon. So get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. And may peace and joy be with you all.